Mikey. Mikey. What the hell was that DI in that four? Bro, I don't know what happened to uh, that four there. I, I've never done that bad in my life. You know I'm clipping that. I'm, you know I'm, I'm clipping that and I'm putting it on your worst DI ever? Stop battle! Oh. Loser Spinos is up and running with Abi and Omar. Omar is just coming off the win against Control as we saw. Abi just coming off a loss of Jax. He's, Jax is probably a bit fresh off the bank. He would love to see a win today. But he has he just had to figure out who which one of these players, which he has already beaten, is gonna he is the one he has to fight. How's he gonna get down? Air dodge. What's the corner pressure? Oh, he goes with downer. Interesting option. Not side B, of course. Then our downer again. Not gonna work this time. This not just seems interesting to me. It feels like Cloud can do a lot of things, but in edge guarding, in particular, Bayonetta should have a lot of strength. Side, cross slash is only gonna hit the last time, so not gonna be lethal. A little bit of action from the ledge. He's not really gonna get the grab that he wanted afterwards, though. That's attack. I do not want that, and I think that's just a straight up. It's not a straight up stock, and Hobby fails the edge guard. The grab afterwards, kind of a bold move. I like it. What's the call on here? Trying to go for some backers. Doesn't get it done. The off B gets it. Backer is not going to kill him. He's beyond the center of the stage, really. Dash attack very well spaced, but still going to hit, get hit by the death. Hobby with the first stock here. Tries to go for anything but the grab. He knows that the reward is minimal. Downer out of shield does not kill. The backer, on shield, the backer does not kill. Hobby going for some length in terms of that ledge, but gets up smash anyways. Omar with the three piece. Chicken McNuggets going to get him. Hobby going for the many more piece chicken McNuggets. He's probably getting a 20 piece combo. Blade Beam does not get the combo from Omar that he might have appreciated. Cross Slash is going to get punished before he can even throw out the others. Side B on ground for Hobby. The forward tilt is going to be a reset situation. He gets some stuff out of it, but it's a big struggle with some. Hobby's been getting these early percents, but Omar's been always clapping back with some solid hits of his own. Is he going to get the guns? Yes. Hobby gets the second stock. What's the plan afterwards? A little up B out of shield. Omar's been getting a lot of mileage off that so far. Back air off Bayonetta's jump. He just kind of... Oh, he lives! I thought he died. These characters are both so black, they can kind of blend into each other in their outfits. So, it's kind of hard to not see. But, Omar is able to get the cross slash kill off a very scary situation. He is still in it, but the carry on the forward air. Bobby gets a little conversion there. Let's see what he can do for corner pressure. S match does not work. Forward tilt into another reset grab. What's the call? Omar just kind of SDs. Starting off game two here. Omar with a little conversion to go off of. Up B out of shield. A significant tool in his arsenal. Bayonetta against the mileage off her hit as well. We see the brunt of what they can provide. Forward throw. What can Javi do about that? Now Smash is not going to connect. Omar gets a little blade beam here. Forcing Bayonetta off stage. Might not be the best position for her, but she has the tools to get out. Forward air cross up. He goes to up the shield on Hobby's potential mix up. Side B is not going to work out. Grab on Cloud. Gets the job done. Up smash does not get the job done there. And I feel like that's, yeah. Omar just kind of dead, I believe. Yup, just go for the back here and make sure of it. 
Now Hobby has some lead in the board here. Does not work like he wanted to do. That's attack coming in. And it's trying to go for the early stock. Does not get it. Downer has pretty high knockback there. And Omar is still kind of in a tough situation. 840, but I would much prefer this than dying. Back here on Omar. Hobby is not dead yet. Back here up to Hobby just continues to shield. Hobby's been shielding a lot of these pressure, just stand still. Not much in terms of witch time either. In the Jack set, we saw a lot of witch time. In the Galactic World set, we saw a lot of witch time. But we don't see a lot of witch time coming out from Hobby this set. So, it might be a mental stack thing. When you're so focused on so many other things, the witch time can be such a nuisance to you if it happens. And the witch time there is not going to connect. Omar hits that way. And now that the option is presented, there's less of a threat of it. There's less of a threat of it. But there's more of a threat of everything else. The guns hit, are not going to connect here. I'll be trying to go for some far stage, near stage for the corner pressure. Not going to get it done. Omar wants to cover this up. He does not get the grab against the wall after this. Hobby's switch times are depleted. Porter comes out. Does Hobby side B? No, he, he doesn't. Oh, that's not going to work for Tilt. Omar's face is outside of it, and he is on the wanting to win this game. Side B is not going to work out for him. Hobby shield is small, but he gets a punish out of it. Not, probably not what he wanted, though. That's only kind of small. Guns do not connect, and the down smash does not connect either. Nice recovery by Omar. Omar, I would say, wants to play this one pretty safe. Just get the pokes here and there. Hobby's not at a percent where he can get anything meaningful off, so you just want to get chipped. Hobby with the triple fair there. Ooh, the grab. Will this kill? No, it will not. Bullets does not. And Omar air dodges them. And Omar gets the suicide up kill. Hobby was being a little too adventurous. And Omar takes that kill. Go to game three on small basket. I smash immediately. Gets called out by Omar with a little forward interaction. Fairness, another fair, another fair. Fastballers are especially vulnerable to that. And he's just swerving around with Bayonetta. The witch time is going to work for the first time. What's the follow up? Just not even a special. Just kind of just piecing, up, piecing together some aerials and tilts. The forward air is not connected to Omar's shield. So potentially been a bad thing for Omar. He could have upbeat that. And that will not kill, but does the damage. Javier dodges. Omar with the backer here. He's setting up limit. He's got limit. Cross slash. What's the call out there? Javier gets out, but not for long. Omar gets him with the cross slash. Wow just dies off that backer for Bayonetta. Oh, it's a mob. What we do without the ledge? A common option side beat, but he hasn't been pulling that too often. Mm. Up throw into tech, the tech chase. That's nice. Down smash does not connect. The wall jump coming out from Omar is nice, but he just gets the re grab on it, which does not bode well. Hobby gets a pretty simple kill. Forward air connects kind of in an awkward position. I think Omar might have been a bit hesitant to combo off of the way he just does. Side beat off the ledge. What's the follow up? About 50% and potential off stage. Nah, looking too preemptive on that down smash. But guess another which time this could be it in this game. I think it is. That is not great. The rage combined with Omar being at pretty reasonable percent gets Javi the game. off the bat we have game four back on ps2 also straight up 
I think I want to stop commentary after the set. My my throat can only take so much of that water, so. What did you want to do afterwards? No, like after the set. Batman looking at what are you doing with that? Okay. I should be fine with that. Also, um, gotcha. I was gonna say, like, potentially, if we could potentially stop by at Rachel's, because I know traditionally with the Arcadians, I stopped by there as well. At Rachel's. Uh, it's in the city. It's really, for me, like, their franks are pretty big. They're kind of, they're pretty hardy as well. With the stuff that, um, they sell crepes. Um, not close by to the Arcadian, but close by to Millersville. So, like, if we could go there, like, 10 o'clock or something, I'd be cool with that. Or, like, even 11, something like that. Yeah. Gotcha. As I speak, Omar gets the first stock in Hobby, but Hobby is getting the little Bayonetta combos up. Omar gets the air dodge, though. He has the pressure, but Hobby gets out of it. Grab, just, that's a bold grab. And oh, very early up. He, Hobby is thinking of something later. Omar escapes. The down smash, they're not quite going to work. Omar's getting a little fancy with that in there, but not going to get it done. And he's going to die off that. One stock remaining from Javi. Could he make it back to Jax? He's got 30 already. And Omar is not unedge guardable. Cloud is not unedge guardable. This could be percent where it could be lethal. And I, I'd say 70 or so is where I'd say I would be scared. I would be scared of a bayonetta combo. Truly being weak. A snatch hits that neutral get up. Bang! Oh, he read the jump. He read the jump. Javi could be scoring. Oh, yuppie though. Nice work by Omar escaping certain death. Gets hit by that again though. A SDI looks like down. He gets away with the nice thing. The limit cross slash kind of gets some damage. The witch time is lost on Javi. Not as much juice in that anymore. Just retreats. He knows the situation. He knows the tension. Oh, the tension of this. Bullets are not going to land. He uppies again, and that was not the greatest. He does not die. He air dodges, though. What's Javi's call? Nothing, but he gets get up attacked. Neutral get up is not going to get anywhere near Omar. So the witch time is gone, basically. Oh, it is limit Omar at this game. I think I'm favoring Omar right now. Little forward throw for Javi. Not going to get it done. Bullets are not going to connect. The limit blade beam not gonna con not gonna do much either outside just shield damage. Back air coming out. Javi is now at kill percent. To anything reasonable. Ooh, that, that was so tricky. And there is no witch time left. The side B wants to follow up the jab. That's gonna do it. Javi moves on to grand finals on loser side. Also, no constant meter set. My throat is free.